Hi everyone! Welcome to our continuation of our suffix lesson. I am your teacher. My name is Judy. Mayong adlaw kaninyong tanan. Good day to everyone. I teach conversational Bisaya Cebuano. Okay. Alright, so today let's continue with our suffix lesson. So suffix is actually ulahing dikit in Bisaya. Suffix a is attached at the end of the word. So it is um, in imperative mood. Okay, so you, the speaker is giving direct instruction to the person spoken to. So first we have hakot. Hakot is hall or transport. And then hakota is to transport um, something in bulk. Okay, hakota is, it is something in bulk that you need to pick up, pick up or to transport. Okay, that's hakuta. And then the next one we have dawat. Dawat is receive. Dawata is receive it. Okay, receive it. Dali is faster. Uh, dalia means to move faster. Okay. Gamay is small or little. Gamaya. Gamaya means put small. Okay. Make it small or you put small in volume okay you put small or oh, so you put little sorry okay next we have hubo is undress okay to undress hubua means to, to remove okay remove it or strip it hubua the pog the pog is actually like this you know you hit the head you smack it's actually a smack in the head if we say the puga the puga means smack it in the head Okay. Okay, let's have some examples of some words there. Hakot is hall or to pick up something in bulk. Okay, transport it. Okay, some sample sentence. Uh, please pick up the trash. So um, in the context here is there are a lot of trashes. Okay, there's a lot of garbage. So hakota paliho paliho ang mga basura. Please pick up the trash. Hakuta palihog ang mga basura. Please is palihog. Palihog. And then, hakuta is pick up. The ang here is the. Okay? Subject marker the. And then, trash. So, the context here is there are a lot of trash. Mga basura. To make it plural, you add mga basura. Dawat. Dawat is receive. Dawata is receive it. Okay? Dawata ang kwarta. Dawata ang kwarta. Okay? Dawata is accept. Okay? Accept. Um, ang here is the. A kwarta is money. Okay? Dawata ang kwarta. Accept the money. Okay? Or receive the money. Another example. Example, we have the lake, which is faster. Dalia means to move faster. Okay? Alright. Example, we have finish that fast. Okay, finish that fast. Dalia na og human. Okay? Finish is um, human. That is na. The na here is shortcut of kana. Na. And then fast is dalia. Okay? The context here is the person is rushing, okay? Dali ana o human. Alright, so those are just some examples, uh, sample sentences. Alright, let's go to another set. When we add suffix a uh, at the end of a noun um, or a verb, it will become an adjective, okay? we it, it is a description of a thing. Okay, some examples here we have, and sometimes it is also an emphasis. Okay, or the adjectives here is like an emphasis or intensifying adjective, I would say. Intensifying adjective. So, like for example, we have here, inita. Init is hot. And then, we say inita. If we say inita, it's, it becomes so hot. Inita. Like, like right now, it's summer. We say inita. Init ang panahon. So, that means the weather is so hot. Inita. Or, if we get a uh, coffee. The, and then the coffee is very hot, 
very hot, we say inita. <laughs> okay? And then hugawa. Hugawa is so dirty. So dirty. Hugawa. Hugao is dirt. Okay, hugao is dirt. As luma. As luma. Like if you eat a um, mango, green mango, we say as luma. It's very sour. Okay, so sour. And then babuya. Babuya here is actually from the root word here is baboy. It means it's pig. When you say babuya, that means it's uh, very fat. So this is kind of a negative, um, negative um, word. So when you say babuya, a lot of people will be uh, offended if you use this. Babuya. So it is actually the character of a pig that there is uh, the emphasis here, babuya. And then we have daot. We have, daot means thin. We say dauta, so thin. Okay. Bugnao is cold. We say bugnao is cold. We say bugnawa means so cold. Animala. Okay, we have uh, we have here animal. Uh, the characteristic, the, the emphasis here is the characteristic of the animal. Animala, animala is savage. Okay, savagery. So basically, the character of an animal is the emphasis here. Animala. So those are um, the things that I can share to you about the suffix a. Ah. Um, looks like we have a lot of things to discuss about some prefixes, uh, about the prefixes, suffixes, infixes in the Bisaya language. So there's so many things to discuss. Alright, so, so I'll see you again in the next video. I am at sibona101.com. If you want to chat with me there, you can go there. And if you want to learn more and access uh, the learning materials you can go to my site as well and, and subscribe to my members access plan don't forget to like that really helps my channel all right bye